called Monster. <clears throat> this is called La Sperry Escalier, which means the spirit of the staircase. Shop. 
this is a Lewis Carroll poem that I put to some chords. <laughs> Is that breaking copyright laws or anything? No. Yeah. Covers are completely legal. Yeah. Yes, they are. Woo! <laughs> sure, I'll do my favorite cover to do. Can you hand me that? Uh, yeah. Yummy, yummy tea. Thank you. Yeah. It's got Homer and Hay Arnold on it. Peyton. Peyton Holly. I saw this for Julie, so started doing it. Okay. Oh, wait, I guess Yeah, it's, sorry. No, that's okay. I'm glad you have a guitar. <laughs> Me too. I'm going to start bringing them more often.
same waits for you then sees you Afterwards, um, but right as I said, the first thing I heard, um, as soon as I heard your voice, was Janis Joplin, uh, and that was kind of the thing that my mind first went to. So I, I guess the question is, um, that was probably to meet you then, huh? Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, but uh, where did you learn to sing? I mean, did you grow up listening to soulful kind of records like that? And yeah, I always listened to classic rock at home, and I never really started singing that actually until I came to Milledgeville. I started singing in church when I was little and started doing community theater in middle school, which is when I, I guess, started really singing with my own voice and then been doing a bunch of different genres forever. Rock's my favorite, though. Gotcha. For sure. Well, uh, it's taking you places. Uh, you get to do some cool things, and you're actually playing at Deep Roots. Um, yes, I am. Which is pretty sweet, uh, coming up here in October. Um, and this is kind of, I know you've played before with like uh, the Greenway and things like that, but this is kind of your first time being, it's uh, Julie Overbold and the backing band that you have with you. So it's kind of just yeah. you um, this time. So is that like, make it more exciting? Are you nervous? Anything Way like more that? exciting. I, I'll know if I'm nervous closer to the time. I'm, now I'm not nervous. I'm just really, really excited. But it's, it's huge for me. I'm, it will be the first time that it's actually been my name. For my own band and it'll be all my own originals um, which is exciting and last year with the Greenway we only did three originals and so this one will be well we're doing one or two covers and those are surprises but okay. it's really exciting awesome um, well I mean you're playing deep roots which is kind of like the pinnacle of Milledgeville music which is whatever but um, <laughs> where do you go from here uh, what do you want to do from here on out with music um, um it's what's it's interesting. I'm not actually pursuing performing. It's it's a passion of mine, and I use passion instead of hobby. But technically, it's a hobby. I'm pursuing conducting is what I actually want to do. Be a music educator. Um, but who knows? Exciting things are consistently happening with performing. So if I can do that for a while, I'll do that for a while. Awesome. But I don't know. Um, anything coming up you want to promote? Uh, are you going to be at anything like that? Um, no, actually. I'll probably be playing at Metropolis at some point soon, probably right. at Buffington some point soon, but nothing's scheduled yet. I need to make a music Facebook. Very unprofessional. Deep Roots. Deep Roots. October 18th. Awesome. Deep well, thank you. We appreciate thank it you so guys. much. That was awesome.